Hi everyone, my name is Alison and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and today I'm going to show you how uh, to make a card using the Today's Tiles stamp set. This is actually when I first saw this I thought it was um, really lovely, I thought there was loads of things you could do with it and it's actually a, like a two-step stamping. You would stamp this image first and then you can go over it with this uh, in a different colour or well, you would do it a different colour because if you did it the same, obviously you wouldn't see it. So. Um, but it's got some nice sentiments in here as well. You've got Namaste. I'm blessed to have you in my life. Wishing you peace and happiness. Everything will be okay. Just wanted to say hello, which I'm sure I shall use that a lot. And then what we'll be using today is this one here, which is thanks for being there when I needed you most, which I think is lovely. And I think with everything that's going on at the moment, I should think quite a few people are going to be thinking that. So we're going to be using this stamp set and then also what comes with it um, is the Field Tiles dies and it doesn't, so this is, it's sort of, although it comes together as a bundle, um, it's not used to cut any of these out, they're just separate um, shapes that you can cut out with the dies, but we will be using this um, lovely long one here to cut out our uh, sentiment. So let's get started. So we're going to be using two colours and we're using in colours, one from the this year's in colour which is Misty Moonlight and then last year's in colour which is Seaside Spray. And the card stock we're going to need is for your card base I've used Misty Moonlight and it is um, eight and a quarter by five and three quarters scored at four and one eighth. Then you're going to want two pieces of seaside spray which is five and five eighths by four inches and that's for one on the front and one inside. You're then going to want two pieces of Whisper White that is approximately, it doesn't have to be exact, but approximately four and a half inches by three and a quarter inches and that's two of those. What I will do actually, if you look below in the description, um, I will put the sizes in inches, but also if you pop over um, and click on the link to my blog, I will also um, put the sizes in centimetres um, and on there I'll also have a, a um, written tutorial as well so you can just refer back to that as you need to and then we want a piece of um, Whisper White cardstock that, oh, I forgot what that measures is approximately four and a quarter inches by one inch and again that doesn't need to be exact because we will be um, this is for our sentiment, we'll be die cutting that out. So what we'll do first is we will stamp our image onto, onto the um, Whisper White cardstock. Get a piece of scrap actually because we are going to be going over um, the edge so we don't want that going on our workspace. So if you get the, um, the stamp, it'll be the, the smoother one. So there are actually two, as I showed you on the, at the beginning. We're going to be using this one first. And I find it looks better if you use the lighter colour for the, the main colour, as I call it. And then the darker one is for the, the detail. Um, there, I just find it looks a bit better if there's more lighter than than dark. So we'll get our stamp and apply the ink to it. And you want to make sure you get a nice, good, even covering. That should be okay. And then you want to try and line it up as best you can, just towards the edge, not right near the edge. But 
just close to the edge and as straight as possible. There you go, and then just push down and give it a minute for the ink just to soak in. And then lift up. That's nice. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put another line of tiles here. So you just want to check which one that's going to be. So it's going to be the bottom layer. So, oh, wrong one. So we'll just apply again with our uh, seaside spray on the bottom layer. You are going to get some up here, but that's fine. And then again, you want to try and line it up. as best as you can. When you're happy, point to no return. That's it. <laughs> there we go, and there, that's fine. Okay, and this edge here will cut off in a moment. So we'll clean that stamp off, get the excess off. And I'll use my stamping scrub, which I love this. I've been using it actually, so that's still nice and damp. But if you spray, you have a wet side and a dry side. And I use the stamping mist, give it a squirt away from your workspace um, on that side, and then you can. Just clean your stamp and then dry it off on the dry side. Nice and simple. And you don't need to wash these every time, every couple of weeks or so. I suppose it depends how often you're using them. So we'll take that one off and we now need the other one. There we go. And so the stamp now that we're going to be using is this one here. Get that one there. Oops. So I had it upside down. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to go to our dark colour, which for us is Misty Moonlight. We'll just look first to check we've got this up the right way so we know. There we go, that's now the right way. I find it easier to do that first before you've got ink on it. And then we'll cover that. sure it's all over and then you want to line it up you'll see that you've got these four here I find lining it up with these four little patterns there and then these four in the corner there and I find if you've got those lined up the rest should pretty much fall into place And so line it up as best as you can. And there you go. And there you go. That just fills that in. It really makes a difference actually. Because you could just leave that that colour, but I just find with that added. What a difference that makes and we're going to do something that's going to make it stand out even more. So before we do that though we need to now do this bit here. So again check we've got the right side which is that side and again we're only going to need to ink the bottom one. Oops I've got a bit on my 
block there. Let's just wipe that off so there's no fear of it going on anything else. That's it. And again, we just need to line it up. So we want to keep our stamp on our block, but we do want to give it a wipe to get rid of any excess ink. So I'll just put some of the stamping mist onto a cloth that I've got here. Get all the excess ink off. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to wet emboss it. So we're going to use clear um, ink and then well you use embossing ink and then we're going to be using clear embossing powder and what that will do is just really bring out the the dark blue color there you could do it all over if you wanted but I just found just having the dark a bit with the raised because it will raise slightly with the embossing powder but it just really brings out the color which hopefully you'll be able to see on the camera so again you'll need to line it up, so I'll check which way I got our stamp the right way and then use your embossing ink which this is different from normal inks, as, well one it's clear but two it's sort of slightly sticky so it's, it takes longer to dry which luckily then gives you time to do this and then stick, cover it in your embossing powder. Now I've just realised that's touching already and it's not quite lined up so I'm not going to move it because I don't want a great big splodge of powder so we'll just do that and then concentrate a bit more when I go to do the next bit. <laughs> Don't put it down too low and then line it up. Right, hopefully that's okay. Put our lid on that and then I'm going to just get a piece of scrap paper there. Now, obviously, uh, normally when you would use embossing powder, you would brush off any excess um, powder, but first of all, you would use an anti-static bag. Because I'm using a clear powder, and the majority of this is covered in, in my ink, and, um, and it's clear, I don't feel the need to use an embossing, uh, uh, what do you call it, the powder the anti-static bag. Craft Buddy I think it's called. But just cover that generously in the powder and again we're using clear. Shake off the excess. Just give that a little flip to get off you can see that it has stuck onto our blue. I'll just put a bit more on there. Again, because it's clear, it's fine if it's uh, on some of the lighter blue. There we go. So we'll put our powder back so it doesn't fly everywhere. to use some of the, the heat gun 
just to set that powder. It is going to get a bit noisy, I'm afraid, so apologies for that, but it doesn't take long to set this. So we'll just let the gun warm up. There we go, that didn't take too long. And there you go. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it just gives a nice sheen, which actually makes it look like a real tile. But yeah, that's lovely there. So we'll put that to one side. We've then just got to stamp our sentiment, and I'm also going to emboss, um, wet emboss that as well. So for the sentiment, I'm going to be using my Stamparatus because that's going to be difficult to line up. So it'll be easier to use this. And so we'll use our piece for the sentiment there. Let's just move that magnet out of the way. Apologies if you can hear that buzzing. I'm actually in my conservatory at the moment and I had to close the window and I've obviously shut. I think it's a fly. I don't think it's anything with a sting, thankfully. Hopefully. <laughs> right, so we'll use our darker ink. So I'm going to use Misty Moonlight. And we'll just stamp that. And then we'll just bring that over. There you go. And that's just so we just because I've pushed it up to the corner there. If it has moved, I can just push it up to the corner again and know that it's in exactly the same place. That is the beauty of using the stamp apparatus. So Again, we want to wipe off the ink off our stamp because we're going to be putting, using the embossing ink on there. Just check that's all off. Just dry that up and then go over it with our emboss, clear embossing ink. Off before it gets transfers to anything else. There we go. So carefully take that, put that out of the way. And I'm just going to apply powder to this again. Again, I've not needed to use the anti-static bag because it's clear so we're also going to be die cutting this out and the, the die cut is more or less up to it anyway. But that's fine. Final bit of noise where we just set that. There we go. And that just gives it a subtle sheen. You don't have to do that bit, but it's, it's, it's there. You can just see it's raised slightly. Right, so now we've done that, we will need to get our 
die out to cut that out. done all our inking now so I can move this out of the way. And there we go. It's a bit wonky actually but that'll be okay. Right so now we're ready to put everything together. So that's a nice quick simple card. So we've got uh, two pieces of seaside spray so we'll stick the inside piece in okay and then we will stick the front piece on there we go and before we stick this on we just need to trim it up because obviously we've got this bit here and it's, it's not even so we'll get a trimmer and I don't sort of measure anything I literally sort of do it by eye it's the only way to do it really but I sort of try and um, line up the edge of the tile with just the edge of the black or the brownie coloured line on there and I find that just having it touching that maybe a bit over this way is just about right and just gives it enough of a little white border if you see that measurement is roughly the same size as this piece here. I hope that makes sense. So just line that up as best as you can. It doesn't need to be exact all the way around. So there it's a bit bit over actually so we'll just try that again. That's better, that's taken a bit more off. And then we want to cut off the bit there that's okay and then finally you've got that piece there okay and then this we're going to adhere to here and that's why I said it doesn't need to be exact because if you look we've got a bigger bottom here um, and it might be you, you can just have that like that if you want to but I'm just going to line it up at the top stick that down and then I'm just going to trim it at the bottom so that it's even all the way around okay so if you see I just got this bit here which I should just trim off with the trimmer Again, using the edge of the guide there, just to line it up. That's fine. Okay, and then bring back our card. And this is going to go on, not in the middle, we're just going to move it towards the top, so that we've then got room for our sentiment. And you could put this up on dimensionals if you wanted to. I've just chosen this time to keep it all flat. And then we'll get our sentiment. And you'll find actually that this is quite a long die, so it's, it fits the whole length or width rather of your card.
and there we have it. Nice simple card and as I say this was done with seaside spray and misty moonlight so are the in colours. I've also made them these ones here it's lovely in the green actually and this is using pretty peacock from last year's in colours and just jade which are this year's this one's using both of this year's so it's the uh, cinnamon cider and bumblebee lovely colours and again I've, I've he um, heat embossed each of those two so you've got the nice sheen and the raised texture there and then finally this one is um, terracotta tile and rococo rose you wouldn't think they would go together but they do surprisingly so there you go the colors are endless i hope you liked this video if you did please give me a thumbs up if this is your first time visiting my channel uh, please hit the subscribe button and also if you hit the bell icon you'll be notified when i upload a next video thank you for watching bye